We are a carbon forest uh, project developer and we have more than 20 years of experience. So we spent a lot of time trying to find out how we can um, measure the carbon that we are developing in our projects. And we have been doing this in Malaysia, in Ecuador, in Uganda. And in all these places, uh, IFA was invited uh, to help us develop the methodology that we needed to uh, quantify the amount of carbon that was being sequestered in our forests. Uh, we have explored several alternatives for measuring our forests uh, and inventories and uh, our carbon. We have looked into the use of LIDAR um, and other an alternative would be, for example, uh, using traditional methods of uh, a piece of paper, a pen, a caliper, and all of that, and also the use of satellite images. But uh, we, uh, we employed IFA first, and it works out very well. It is a complex package of information. We call it a robot. <laughs> But it's used uh, because IFA provides training for our staff who are not always highly educated, but they are able to learn these techniques in IFA and what to, to do with it even on their own because IFA comes, they train them, and the next few weeks of Forest Carbon campaign, they are on their own. And they are able to measure and measure very accurately without, with very minimum supervision. But IFA supports this during the campaign, IFA supports the support from a distance, from uh, Czech Republic. And, but it, in the end, we get uh, high quality data and uh, the guys love it. Of course, it's, it's like uh, playing with a toy for them as opposed to the boring uh, caliper and pen that you send people to the field with. For several weeks, that would be very boring for our guys, for example, in Malaysia and in Uganda. And uh, with having used uh, field map several years in a row, we, have, we find ourselves in a place where we have unique set of data that uh, I think most projects don't have because we have been able to measure, for example, Kibale in 2003, in 2008, and also now very recently in 2011. So that's something that only we at FACE can claim, and thanks to IFA and the use of field map. So um, this also means that uh, the, the costs are less, because we are usually, for example, I'll give you a good example of last year, our projects are old, and they needed to get into VCS. Uh, there was a very strict deadline of 8th September. We were planning the campaign in January, and we needed to get data fast, and high quality, accurate data that auditors would be happy with. So that was, we were able to accomplish that with uh, the use of field map and with the training provided uh, from uh, IFA. Field map is great because it, it has this uh, inbuilt way of checking the accuracy of the data. So you end up um, uh, accomplishing your data objectives within a short time because when someone enters oh, something wrong yeah, it automatically gives them feedback and okay. that means that they automatically yeah. have to check it immediately absolutely. in the field so um we we did great we have been doing great with ifa and we are not the only ones that are happy with it i can uh -huh. give you a quote from our auditor Hello. of vcs uh late uh 2011, who in both Malaysia and Uganda, and I will have to read this one because it's a quote, okay? <laughs> it says, the audit team also observed that the protocol by which the inventory teams performed the plot measurements and found execution of the plot measurement methodology to be systematic, meticulous, resulting in high quality data. So, 